If we take Dr. King seriously, if we want to do what the work of moving toward the beloved community, we must find ways to commit ourselves to a deep, rich ethic of solidarity. To suffer with compassion, to suffer with another person, is to identify a personal and intellectual and spiritual level with their experience to find a way into their world, to see them as another us, another me. To live in solidarity with those who are on the margins is to pick up one's cross and follow him. The apostle Paul, Dr. King, and the enslaved Africans that were his ancestors who sang the spirituals that formed the groundwork of African-American theology, looked long and lovingly at the real, terrifying beauty of being human. They did not shrink from living, even in the face of death. Hope looks at the world as it truly is and sees God's saving hand. The cross stands as an ultimate sign of what God can do in and with us, even in the face of certain death. Hail the cross, our only hope. During these times of heightened divisions in our communities, our nation and our world, we have a particular responsibility to regularly examine our own lives to ask ourselves whether we are truly messengers of understanding goodwill and to commit ourselves anew to advancing the cause of justice, equality, and peace. And so we gather for this simple night prayer. Night prayer in the Christian tradition has always been a time to acknowledge before God what we have done and what we have failed to do.